I got two of these. Fire, Charlie! Fire! Devil, get off my back. One of my favorite finds that I have found. What more do you want from me? <laughs> That's wild. Makes for good footage though. Everybody. My name is Andrea. If you're new here and if you are, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And to my all two subscribers, thanks for tuning back in and welcome back to another video. Okay, today is for my minimalist or my minimalist adjacent people. People who aspire to a minimal space but still an elevated aesthetic. If you love neutrals, if you love clean, sleek, minimal, <laughs> This is the video for you. I have recently gotten out of being such a maximalist. I feel like I always thought I needed a lot of things for my space to be pretty, but you really don't. You just need the right pieces. And today is dedicated to just that. Now, first up, I wanna share these chairs because I've actually had them for quite some time, but I have recently taken one of them out of the box to see what it actually looks like put together. And y'all, I'm shook. Again, did I say this from Target? The chair is from Target, but it's really giving RH CB2 vibes. Like it looks so high end, but legit, it's $210. And I got them on a sale, so I actually got them for $157 a piece. They sell out so quick. I'm gonna share the link. Make sure, get the app and hit the notify me or slide the notify me button to the right so you get a notification. As soon as you get that notification, go. They did a restock of this chair, so it was available for some time and now it's like been going in and out. So yeah, love this chair. It is so easy to assemble, you guys. Like legit, a minimalist dream. And I say that not only because it's easy to assemble, but if you wanna kinda just put it away, if you're tired of it or you have to move something real quick or if you do a lot of content creation and you need to move furniture around, it's not bulky, legit. Let me get you a piece, because I didn't put both of them together. Hold on a second. So when you open your box. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I'm so childish. When you open your box, it'll come with five pieces like this. Like slender, sleek, clean lines, straight, and you put all of them together. It's pretty much modular. And like I said, this is so easy to store away. You can put these in a closet, like you stack them. Like, look how skinny this is. And it turns into a chair. It's amazing. Whoever designed that, that is so rude for y'all to be doing yard work right now. I feel like they do yard work every day. <sighs> I'll just get them a minute. Okay, hopefully y'all can't hear them anymore. But like I said, this is so easy to store. You can put this in a closet. Like, amazing, amazing, genius. It's so clean aesthetically, and it also feels like it'll be, <laughs> I feel like this would be very easy to clean because it's not a stark white. It's kind of a creamy, beigey, grayy type tone. I haven't gotten them dirty, so I can't really speak to how well they perform under pressure. Under staining? I don't know how easy it is to get a stain out, but y'all know Folex gets anything out of anything. So yeah, love this. And also the seat of this, massive. So if you kind of, if you bless back there, this is a chair for you. Cause it's not one of those cute little dainty chairs where you kind of like, remember how I know the professor when he was trying to sit in the chair and he had to like squeeze now? <laughs> Comfy? 
quite. Yeah, this is not giving that. It's very wide. You can like cuddle up on this during the fall. I'm so excited. I got two of these. I got two of these. I got two of these. Candle. Oh my gosh. They praying on my downfall. Y'all done seen I ain't got no real outfit on or anything. Devil, get off my back. And there goes the thunder. <laughs> what? Let me. Whoo, but we getting through this video. Okay, I right. put this makeup on and everything. We doing it. But yeah, what was I saying? Yes, these are going in my filming room and they're gonna look so good. This is gonna give me that modern aesthetic next to my vintage coffee table that I will not stop talking about. If you get tired of it, log out. No, no, don't log out. I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Stay here, stay here. But I'm just so proud of that find. If you missed that video, I will link it and show you the thumbnail here. I'm just so proud of it. I, I just can't wait to put it up. But yeah, that's that. Next up is a piece from Home Goods, and I have to say, this is one of my favorite pieces, one of my favorite finds that I have found. Please, uh, I blew out the candle. What do you want? What more do you want from me? <laughs> fire going on? Y'all, I can't make this up. That's wild. Like, my gosh. Makes for good footage though. Anyway, like I said, I love this bowl from Home Goods, $24.99. I found it in the kitchen area, but it's for decorative use only, so I'm pretty sure someone put it in the wrong in the wrong spot. I got two of these. I plan on painting the other one a creamish color so I can have different ones even though it's the same thing y'all know i'm crazy if i like something i'm gonna buy it twice if i see it but it's just that organic shape can you here like how asymmetrical it is and how organic that looks i love this it has some really good texture on it and i think this is a very good piece for someone who has a minimal aesthetic because it's not chunky like every other bowl that you'll see i have a lot of chunky bowls i have a marble one i have a bigger uh like a it's metal but it's made to look like plaster so these are really good if you just want something but not something if that makes sense like if you want something to add some kind of shape but you don't want it to be overwhelmingly big or anything like that just big for no reason this is it this is the one for you stick it on some coffee table books or on a console table you don't even have to put anything in it if you don't want to just have this as a piece of art because it legit looks like a piece of art and you're good to go. So this next piece is an RH dupe. I was so excited when I found it. It's not going in my home because Lord knows I don't need any more naked bodies in here. Like I have so many different torsos, naked ladies. It's it's ridiculous at this point. But this is going in a different project. I was sourcing some things and I found this in Home Goods, y'all. Let me get get myself together. This looks exactly like a RH statue, torso, whatever you want to call it. He was only $49.99. And I love this in a minimalist. I love this in a minimalist home because it's not too rustic and it's not too chunky. Like he still looks clean. He's still very contained if that makes sense like he's not very wide but you still get some good detail in there he looks so clean it's actually metal and it has a marble base which is amazing to me if you don't like the white just paint it black or I assume you can take this off it has little felt pads this is made in India like I said total dupe for the RH one get you a pedestal stick this on top of that and you are good to go next up i found this little vase from h&m home and i love these little vases because if you don't have a big space especially like you want to put something on your bathroom vanity but you don't have a whole lot of counter space these are perfect it's not too big but it's still interesting enough where it'll make a statement i love the texture 
Come on, light. Come on, light. Mm. Hopefully you can see it. I'll try to put some footage here on the side. But I love the texture on him. I love how he kind of like leans on the side here on the neck. It's kind of asymmetrical and imperfect. But this tone, this creamy tone, neutral. Oh, gosh. See, I left the fan on. Oh my gosh, no. I hope that's not gonna mess up my audio. Please help for it not to mess up my audio. I don't wanna refilm this video. Jesus, no more prayer, amen. But anyway, like I was saying, it's an interesting. Why doesn't the universe want me to finish this video? Let me take a beat. There's something on my lip. Okay, we're almost done, Andrea. Get it together. So like I was saying, I love the texture on this. I love the neutral tone. If you love neutrals, this is it. You can stick this on your coffee table. You can stick this in a bookcase. You can leave it empty or put a little stem in it, put it next to your kitchen sink. It's just an all around versatile piece and I love it so, so much. I don't remember how much it costs, but it's from H&M Home, so it's not that expensive. I will leave a picture on the side with the price. And um, I think it's sold out at the moment, but you guys know, hit that notify me bell or hit the notify me. Hit the notify me button on the app or I don't know if they have it on the site and they'll send you an email when it comes back. So yeah, love this. Love it, love it, love it. And last but not least, I wanna share this lamp that I found. It's from Target, it's from the Studio McGee collaboration. I also got this on sale for $67. It's normally around 90, I'm pretty sure. Um, I will link it down below. But it is, this is just a lamp shade, duh. Because it's actually a floor lamp, so I'll put a picture up of what it looks like, but I just wanted to show you guys the, uh, what did I want to show you guys? But I just thought it'd be easier to show you the shade. Now I know it's green, just calm your nerves, relax. That's what spray paint is for. So I bought two of these and I plan on spray painting them black. I was going to put them in my living room, but I have since found some other lamps that work in that area. So these might go in my filming room. I have been so in love with lamps that have lamp shades that are made of the same material as the lamp base, if, if that makes sense. Like, not the lamp shades, like the lamp shades I have in here, I love them. Um, the fabric linen type, but I love the ones that just blend in with the lamp base. All metal, all wood, all marble. <laughs> all marble, whatever it's made of. I just love that seamless, monochromatic look. And I think these would be perfect in a minimal space, they don't take up too much space. They are a floor lamp, so you don't have to have like extra furniture, like side tables or anything. Literally slide the base up a little bit under your couch and put them behind your couch. Put them beside your bedside, side chair, anywhere they will look so good. And these are RH adjacent, like they have similar lamps like this, so you can get the look for less and I just love these. I can't wait to spray paint these and put them up. They're gonna look so good in my space. Like I said, I will link them down below for you. If it's out of stock, hit the notify me. You, you get it at this point. Okay guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with me. We made it to the end of this video. I don't know what was going on in my apartment today, but yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell if you haven't. Take care of yourselves, those around you, and your mental health. And I will see you guys in my next video. But until then, peace out.